Global Change Progress. One Community Weekly Progress Update number 157. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do it yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution creating models in the service of all life on this planet. This includes highest good approaches to food, energy, housing, education, for profit and non profit business creation society, and true earth stewardship. We are creating all these things to be implementable as either individual components or as complete teacher demonstration villages and hubs. Welcome to the One Community Weekly Progress Update. My name is Jay Sable and I'm the Executive Director of the One Community 51 c 3 nonprofit organization. This is our Weekly Progress Update number 157. March 27th, 2016 edition. As always, I'm going to be covering one week of our team's progress and accomplishments with pictures and video. And if you'd like to see more details, more specifics, links to all the open source content, you can visit our written blog. Also, if you'd like to receive an email every time one of these updates comes out, you can send an email to onecommunityupdates at gmail.com and we'll add you to our newsletter list. Or you can subscribe to our YouTube channel. Let's jump into the updates. One community's approach to highest good education is open source and free shared, designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, a learner-teacher collaborative, and it includes U.S. Common Core standards. This week, the core team, which includes the pioneer members plus those helping who don't wish to be individually acknowledged, transferred the final 25% of the written content for the cooperation and collaboration lesson plan to the website, as you can see here. This lesson plan purpose to teach all subjects to all learning levels in any learning environment using the central theme of cooperation and collaboration is now 100% complete on our website. Behind the scenes, we wrote the third 25% of the written part of the summer lesson plan, bringing it to 75% complete. We also completed the final 25% of the mind map for the work lesson plan, bringing it to 100% complete, which you see here. One community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative, and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. This week, the core team working on Highest Good Food completed another round of organizing the streamlined version of our food self-sufficiency transition plan page, which includes contributions provided by naturopathic doctor, Matt Martirano, creator of the coherent model for comprehensive digestive health. This week, we added the summary and FAQs to the page, which is now approximately 99% complete. The one community approach to highest good housing is eco-artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. This last week, the core team put another 10 hours into the behind-the-scenes revision for the Footers, Foundations, and Flooring page for the crowdfunding campaign we are developing. This week's focus was reviewing, editing, and providing additions to Sections 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6 and showing more inclusive detailed measurement for Section 3 to increase clarifications of the excavation profile. We'd say we are now 74% complete with this total update and rewrite behind the scenes. We also replaced the header images for our open source showerhead research page and rainwater harvesting and catchment pages after confirming accidental copyright infringement by one of our previous images used on these pages. Working on the Treehouse Village Pod 7, Jessica Rohrbach, architectural drafter, designer, and 3D modeler, added an additional round of edits to the inside of the Treehouse Village arts and crafts structure and also aesthetic enhancements and specifics to the outside of the recreation structure, which you can see here. Dean Scholes, architectural designer, further developed what's necessary for us to create quality Cobb Village Pod 3 renders. Here is update 12 of this work that continued with placement of new structures into the complete village model, finalization of Cobb sitting space textures, adding rock foundations to one of the shade structures, and a new shade structure design. Brianna Johnson, interior designer, also continued evolving the renders for the Star Bale Village Pod 2. What you see here is the initial render of the kids' playroom. 
Shadi Kennedy, artist and graphic designer, also created this updated layout proposal for a new graphic to share the features of the tropical atrium that is the center of the Earth Bay Village, Pod 1. One community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. This week, the core team continued working on the renders for the Duplical City Center. You can see this work in progress here, presenting this higher quality dining dome renter. The core team also started render work on the social dome. Here are two second floor rendering scenes where the focus was setting up the background and placement of lights. We also worked on the final touches for the SketchUp model of the pallet furniture in the living room domes. Upesh Sithala, interior designer, continued working on the design for the natural pool and spa mechanical room details. Here you see his work starting to design and place stones, planning the water flow, and designing the entryway. Iris Sue, industrial designer, started researching the overhead lighting and shelving options you see here for the Duplicate City Center Library. She also started drawing some layout options and possible furniture additions. These furniture, lighting, and shelving options will go with the pipe couch and table chair Iris already created. Brianna Johnson, interior designer, also continued her work on the pipe shelving for the library. What you see here is her third design layout further simplifying the design and replacing some of the lighting at the top with wall art instead. The one community approach to highest good society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet. This last week, the core team created an open source and patents defensive publishing cost research page with the help of Oz Zersky, lawyer specializing in trademark and copyright law. This page is the first step in a comprehensive tutorial on defensive publishing to permanently place things in the open source domain. We also made final edits and began a multi-hour reorganization of the icons designed by graphic designer Ivan Monzeroff. The finished icons are here and we'd say we are about 20% done with this graphics task. Richard Tanzer, patent agent, also began editing our open source and patents page. The original page was created by Oz Zersky, and here you see Richard's first round of updates and edits happening behind the scenes. We'd say Richard is about 15% done with the complete edit. What one community is creating is about global change progress, specifically making it easy enough, affordable enough, and demonstrating it's attractive enough that the idea will spread on its own. And the, and the specific manifestation, the representation, the physical existence of the idea is teacher demonstration communities, villages, cities, and hubs built on sustainable infrastructure and designed to help create additional teacher demonstration communities, villages, cities, and hubs. We call this a solution model for creating additional solution creating models and the idea of making it self-replicating by making it easy enough, affordable enough, and demonstrating it's attractive enough is to take the foundations of sustainability, which are food, energy, and housing, and add them to the emotional foundations of sustainability that we've identified as highest good education, highest good economics, fulfilled living models, and true earth stewardship. And putting these things together is an evolution of sustainability to create a way of life that most people will find better than the way that they're living right now. This is how we see global change progress moving forward. This is how we're creating it. This is how we're facilitating it. This is how we are open sourcing and free sharing it. All the foundations, the food, the energy, the housing, the education, the economics, the fulfilled living models, and the true earth stewardship, putting all these things together into a comprehensive teacher demonstration community village that people will be able to come and visit, experience, and if they like what they experience, if they see it as a better way of living than the way they're living right now, if they see it as progress, if they want to be involved either for the lifestyle benefits that it provides, for the financial gain that it could provide, for the sustainability model that it represents and the betterment of humanity that it's all about, whatever their reasons are, they'll be able to take everything that they see and replicate it, adapt it, modify it, build it in their own way if they like to, or replicate it exactly the way that we've designed it as either individual components or as the complete teacher demonstration hub designed to host them, their friends, their family, and ultimately just like one community, if they want to expand as big as we are building to expand, to host thousands, tens of thousands, eventually hundreds of thousands of people annually.
If we make this easy enough, affordable enough, and demonstrate as attractive enough, this is our way of building a bridge between pragmatism and idealism. Creating teacher demonstration communities, villages, cities, and hubs that are focused on global change progress to create a better world for everybody. And if you run the numbers, if we can succeed in making it easy enough, affordable enough, and demonstrate as attractive enough so that it self-replicates, so that the first teacher demonstration hub is something that somebody else will want to replicate, just two additional groups would want to replicate within a year. And then if those three existing models then had the ability to motivate and excite and empower and inspire people to want to create four more and then eight more and then 16 more and 32 and 64, if we could create, start that replicating process, open sourcing and free sharing all the different iterations so that more and more people have different versions of what it is that we're creating so that they could be a part of the global change progress as well. If we can start that, we could transform our planet to a sustainable planet that meets the needs of every single person within our lifetime. Now people say, that's crazy. How is that ever going to happen? What about cities? What about islands? What about the impoverished areas? What about places where the population density is so dense like India? What about that? How what about those areas? This is the stepping stone to creating those solutions. It's the stepping stone and the living example that can be created that can take the mainstream money from the places that have it and create the motivation, the reason why people would want to invest this in other areas around the world because it's easier to build there, because they're beautiful locations, because there's a surplus of labor, because the cultures are rich and interesting, because they would make great locations for teacher demonstration, community, village, cities, or hubs, because they might be a great place to escape to and get away to, to retire to to take your kids and learn about another culture and grow with, to help. All of these are reasons why what we're doing would work in other locations. And so our goal is to make it easy enough, affordable enough, and demonstrate it attractive enough so the global change progress model will move forward on its own. And to do that, we're bringing together the people with the consciousness for the highest good of all, the people that believe that now is the time that we're the ones we've been waiting for and want to participate, want to be a part of this, to help, to help do it. And we're making it easy so that anybody can participate. All the way from the pioneer members that will move to the property and build one community, to just volunteering as a consultant to our project, donating your time and pro bono work, helping us to develop everything that we're doing. All of our team are nonprofit volunteers. None of us are paid for what it is that we're doing. Nobody that works at one community is paid, including myself. We're doing this because we believe in a better world because we want to live in a better world because we want to live at one community, my case, because I love what I do. And I understand that we have one shared planet. And I'm doing everything that I can to take care of that and create a better world, not just for myself, but for everybody. And that's what this model is all about. A highest good model so that no matter what people's reasons are, they may be philanthropic, they may be humanitarian, but the model is also a great financial model. Whatever the reasons are, it's still moving the world forward and everything that we're creating because it's created for the highest good of all. If people just implement it for their own use, that's still a step in the right direction because they're implementing something that was created with that consciousness for the highest good of all rather than just created for monetary gain or for whatever reason because it's the easiest way to do something. And so our goal is to clear those barriers, those financial barriers, those complexity barriers to make it simple enough, easy enough, affordable enough, attractive enough so that people will start implementing high good solutions in their life and then to make that complete model as easy as possible too. This is what we're doing. Our big focus right now, of course, is on all the infrastructure. So we're looking for people to help us, to get involved. You know, the easiest way, of course, is to share our information on social media, but we're also, of course, looking for large-scale funding. So if you or somebody you know know somebody that could help us with large-scale funding, that is the next big step. As we continue to focus on the infrastructure components that are necessary so that we'll be shovel-ready, that's our secondary focus, is finding that large-scale funder that can help us accelerate the process. If we could get the property that we've identified off the market, that would be a huge step in the right direction for one community because then we could share that location, which we've been working for with for five years now, we could disclose that location, build our team a lot faster, complete all the blueprints and everything that we're working on, and start open sourcing details that we can't open source until we have the land to be able to build on. So this is what we're up to. This is what our focus is. So as always, I like to say thanks for following our progress. 
thanks for the emails that we get. Thanks for sharing our information. We're on all the different social media networks to make it as easy as possible. Pinterest, Tumblr, Reddit, Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, about 15 others. Thank you for following our progress. Thank you for liking this YouTube video. That's actually really helpful. If you like what we're doing and want to do something really simple, go click through all our videos and just hit like on all of them. That's really a big deal, actually. So, and, uh, you know, thank you for your support. Whether or not you're somebody that contacts us or likes or whatever, just following our progress in whatever way works best for you and sending us positive goodwill, sharing what we're doing by talking about it or sharing it on Facebook or just paying attention to what it is that we're doing, all that stuff makes a difference. So from the bottom of my heart, all of one community, thanks for following our progress. We'll continue with our global change progress model. And until next week, we will, of course, keep on keeping on. Thank you.